happy Merry Youth Day, however you celebrate it in your household. We are wishing you an incredible one here at Afternoon Express. And you know what I like to say, rather late than never. Someone decided to join us in the kitchen <laughs> and come to work. I'm speaking about none other than Chef Jay. Always happy to be here, uh, Pali. And I've got my schoolboy shirt on today. I was going to say, are you a teacher? <laughs> are you a PE teacher? What's going on? Are you a student? I'm a student. Head I'm boy. A, I'm a grown student. <laughs> Head boy in the loft. Well, is this the time to come to work? Well, you can not be cooking it up alone because we are still joined by our musical guest today. I'm talking about none other than Cash CPT. Ooh. You're doing incredible in the kitchen. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> He's getting shy. He's getting a little shy. Well, look, let's keep the good times rolling. Who can't resist multi golden corn tortillas filled with pickled jalapenos, chicken, and cheese? These chicken and chili quesadillas made with clover classic dairy snack are the perfect snack to make and share with friends. Now, you're saying a quesadilla is a snack. I like it as a main. Really? Really? Like, I, well, you, you pick your poison, you know, yeah. you could have a slice or you can eat the whole thing. Eating the whole thing. <laughs> Do you love quesadillas? This was going to be a first, like I won't lie, yeah. It's basically like yeah. a bri brewerky okay. kind of thing. Yeah. Just obviously the, the ingredients are not quite South African. Sure. Um, Do you like bri brewerkies? <laughs> your eyes kind of... Yeah, with onion, cheese. <laughs> Similar yes. vibe. And we have one of your favorite ingredients. Yes. Jalapenos. So we're spicing it up today. So excited <laughs> about that. Now, jalapenos for me, they're not like the classical chili. You know, for me, they've got a lot more acidity to it, especially mm. if they're pickled, yep. like the ones that we're using today. And they definitely introduce another kind of flavor profile. They're not just chili for being chili's sake. There's there's its own flavor there. There's its own flavor. And you know what? We're so blessed in South Africa because we have access to these amazing products. Mm. I would actually buy fresh ones if you can find, but the pickled ones, I think, also add that zing and zang, you know, Absolutely. really a pop of taste on your palate. Mm. So what is um, our homie going to be doing on that side before you start on your section? So we are actually going to challenge him into making <laughs> the quesadillas today. <laughs> Always. And we want to see you flip it today, eh? I do, yes. Both Most sides. Actually needed, yes. <laughs> so you can actually go ahead, a knob of butter into the pan, and then you can start building your quesadillas. And in the meantime, I'll... So you here, so he's already got a mm. mixed version of what you're about to um, yes. put in, and that's basically just the filling of that, the quesadilla. That is the filling, you know, you need something ooey, gooey, creamy, cheesy in the mm. center. And to very really... flavorful. Yeah. So here on that side, to make that... You've got already shredded okay. chicken here, boom. Shredded chicken, great for youth day because you know, the youth don't have time to be in the kitchen, they must be studying. So we've got pre-made chicken. Yes. We're going in with cheese, that's going to be the binding ingredient. And then of course we are using some Clover Classic Dairy Snack just to add that creamy deliciousness. So about a half a cup of that. Okay. And it's really nice because we're using the plain one. There are so many different flavors mm. because you know, plain, it's plainly delicious. And this pairs so nicely with the, the spicy notes in, in, in this dish. And then just for some freshness, we've got some spring onion, those jalapenos. And you could add fresh chili if you can't find the pickled jalapenos. Is it jalapeno? Like, how do you say it? Well? I think the Mexicans say ha with an H. I know it's ha. spelled with a J, but the Mexicans say ha jalapeno or jala jalapeno. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but basically, yeah. In fact, no, I wanna, let's swap places. Can I, we swap places? Sure, go ahead, go. Let's swap places because this gentleman has be definitely been talking a big game the entire show. Yeah. You seem like you know what you do in the kitchen and you're <laughs> nearly 22 years of age. 22. So show us how you whip it up in your kitchen at home. Ish, um, yes. You see, I need more hands on right now. I just feel very like nervous, <laughs> but just the food's still gonna come through. Like. It's still gonna come through. So um, it seems as if you're do being quite generous. In fact, I think you can even be more generous there. You, you seem to be spreading it out. No, that's fine. I can't forgive you uh, because this is what... It's good. It's good. It's good. We want a little bit to go a long way. Yes. But here, you don't have to be shy. You can just plunk it all together, sandwich those bad boys up, and then we're going to get him flipping it a little bit later. Mm -hmm. And, Pali, actually, a good tip at this point is not to push the filling all the way to the edges. You want to keep about a centimeter, as you're doing here, around the edges because as the cheese melts, it's going to ooze out and yeah. spread out, so you don't want that going into the pan and burning. Mm. So that's just a nice tip when layering up. But Kukka, come on, we gotta add some more here. Got, feeling you. Some, I think I'm gonna add some more heat here, get it yes. maybe sizzling. Absolutely, get it sizzling. Again, if you wanna try this recipe out at home, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. And 
What I love about using the Clover Classic Dairy Snack is a good source of 10 vitamins. So again, you know, you're amping up this dish with flavor, creaminess, and it's good for you, you mm. know, and that's what I really love. So the idea is that if you have a, a lid, to place the lid on for a couple of minutes just to get that heat going so that the cheese melts. But then won't the lid then create a, a, a kind of steam and just wet the quesadilla all over again? That's make why, it soggy. So that's why I increase the heat, Bali. Okay. So it's not going to take too long. So just quickly put the lid on. Listen, South Africa, if you want to try this out at home, simply head over to afternoonexpress.co.za and you can be flipping your very own quesadillas at home. So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic! A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.